I've been coming here since 1975. What gets me excited is that it is still in such good shape. Suriname is 94% covered in rainforest, 4 million acres. It's a World Heritage Site. And really, this one mountain, the Wolfsburg, is the symbol of the entire country. My dad, he's always kind of exemplified to me the jungle explorer character. As a kid growing up, he wasn't around very often, but when we traveled abroad together, he became kind of this larger-than-life character. This is why they call them Cock of the Rock, because they live in these rocky areas, big boulders. When the sun comes out, you hear the sound of this bird. There you go. It's an exploded lek. In a career spanning over four decades, Russell Mittermeier has been chasing his passion around the globe. He's a Time magazine hero for the planet and is credited with the discovery of over 20 animal species new to science, eight of which were named in his honor. Russ is a very accomplished scientist, got a PhD in anthropology, is a reptile specialist, a primate specialist. He has a solid science foundation, but he's very to the ground, you know, he, he looks at species, he looks at habitat, and this is what he has dedicated his life to. He's written 15 books, over 400 scientific papers. He is teaching, he is running an organization, but he's still got time for the field. Ready? Here we are in the Virungas National Park, Kopanami River at Fungo Island. The Congo portion of the Virunga volcanoes. The one mantra that he always has, no matter where we go, is, it's fine, I'm from the Bronx. When it bubbles, it means it's working. One day he could be meeting with the heads of state and leave the meeting, change into his vest and his shorts and his hat, and be on a plane, on a boat, trekking through the jungle. He's one of these kind of guys that makes you angry because he speaks Portuguese and Spanish and German and some Malagasy. An irritating amount of languages. Hello, Sonny Boo? Yeah. Hello, Sonny Yeah. That's Russ. You see those shorts he's wearing? I mean, they're just held together with a hope and a prayer. As the head of Conservation International from 1989 to 2014, Mittermeier's main area of focus was the expansion of Dr. Norman Meyer's concept of working in biodiversity hotspots. Hotspots are regions that are home to the world's richest ecosystems, but are also the most threatened. On the opposite end of the conservation spectrum, high biodiversity wilderness areas are the few remaining spots on the globe that are still largely intact. For Mittermeier, the small South American country of Suriname has remained a favorite since he completed his thesis there in the mid-1970s. When I started working here, everything was intact, everything was great. Then the Malaysians and the Indonesian loggers came in right on top of where the Wolfsburg is located. And I just said, no, that's enough, not here. Russ sat down, talked to the government, showed there's an alternative. Ecotourism, carbon credits, medicinal plants, all of these other options. And now this area is being connected to the Southern Suriname Conservation Corridor, and that's an additional 7.2 million hectares. That's about four times the size of the state of New Jersey. Russ has been coming here for 43 years, so he knows a lot of these chiefs. He was there when they were kids. So that has created that space for constructive dialogue. There was always that idea from Russ that we want to protect this whole big piece of forest. They decided that they don't want destructive activities within their lands. Hey, Mickey. You think you missed any plants in the forest so far? I think you shouldn't miss any plants. Try to photograph every single species you see. <laughs> in 2017, Mittermeier joined Global Wildlife Conservation 
an organization dedicated to species conservation through science-based fieldwork, a move motivated by a desire to keep doing what he loves the most. If you look out over this landscape in all directions, 360 degrees, south to Brazil, north to the capital, you're looking at unbroken, pristine, tropical rainforest. He wants to make sure that he shares it with the people he loves, and that's part of why he wants to protect it. He just really loves it. It consumes him in every aspect of his life. And that all started there at the Pulsburg. When he passes away, I'll go up and put a statue there of him lying down like he always does when he gets to somewhere, lying on his backpack. <laughs> Classic dad. There is nobody like Russ Mittermeier. If we had a dozen Russ Mittermeiers, it would be a great thing. But we don't, we got one.